Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, today we're going to continue playing the New California Republic. Destroy any sense or any remnants of any sort of traitors that resulted in the Phoenix Federation Rebellion. And we're just going to keep kicking a lot more booty. So, we got a lot of political power, but let's go ahead and continue on pummeling the rebels, the rebellion, the traitors to our country. Oh, oh finally. So actually, right before I started this, um, I guess the Twisted Hairs was just, was just called in, but I was already going to justify on them. So, yeah. Now I can't undo my just war justification, which sucks, because this might be the second last video in the series. God dang it. But, um, just because I want to take out the former Kaiser's Legion, and then take out the Brotherhood, and then basically call it a series, a campaign. Uh, what I'll do next for my next campaign is up in the air. I'm seriously contemplating whether we play as the Legion or something like that. I haven't played as any other nation. I really want to, but I haven't had really enough time to figure out what I would like to play as next. So, um, yeah, Twisted Hairs. Honestly, these guys aren't too difficult. Uh, who are you? You are Defenders. Yeah, I don't really need to send you to the Defenders. You guys are just... Really cool guys, you don't need that. And you guys are down here. Yeah, you can come down here to Craig Poindexter. Come down to Craig. He'll love you. He will love you big time. Um, honestly, with these guys... Ooh, we got smoke grenades. Nice. Go ahead and change them to NCR troopers. Just to make them a little bit better. And tell everyone they're to train. Alright, smoke grenades. Better reinforce rate. Awesome. Super Mutant Club. Ooh, Gauss Energy Rifle. Ooh. Ooh, look at all this stuff. Very nice. Um, yeah, there's nothing I could really done to increase my ranger's stats too much. Better logistics, that's going to take some more time. Uh, yeah, we're not advanced. I would love to be advanced, but whatever. Um, right now, let's get some more vehicle supply use. Sure, why not? That sounds kind of nice. Oh, and actually, since we linked up here, you're all technically in the same area, but not really. Where are my rangers at? You're over here in Hoover Dam. Go ahead. Yeah, just go ahead and move in there. Three divisions guarding two tiles isn't a whole bunch. Ooh, hello. Even the Genta de Sul wants to send divisions to help us out. Yeah, we wanted to take them over before, but... Sure, why not? Come on down to the party. That'll be fun. Awesome. And once we have the Rangers push... Yeah, they've already pushed through. And once they link up with the rest of our guys, I'm going to make one big front and then send the Rangers south to... Tohono. Oh, okay. So the Twisted Hairs immediately capitulated. Awesome. Go ahead and just conquer all that. We got lots of infantry. I might go to war with the Brotherhood of Steel in this episode. I might, I might not. We'll see what happens. I want to cancel my war justification because now I'm locked out of it. I'm not really locked out of it, but... Okay, 225 days isn't terrible. We can probably finish them off once these guys are all done. All right. Prosperity and Daglo. Double research bonus for industry, which is probably a little bit too late for me to really use. But now we can get resource efficiency gain or begin Baja and migration. Thousands of men and women are attempting to migrate or immigrate to Daglo from the poverty-stricken Baja. While they, ex while they are, are accepted, there are legitimate fears that this influx could damage the economy and our efficiency in the short term. Honestly, I really don't mind if they come as long as they do assimilate and, you know, you know, basically reward us for accepting them. So, cool. Rangers, go ahead and begin your uh, direction down this way. Um, honestly, when this is all over... Actually, you know what? Go ahead and stop your attacks. I'm probably just going to annex all these lands because... Frankly, the way they treated me is completely unfair. This might have been the worst thing that would have ever happened to the NCR after you liberate Kaisar's Legion. Or people from Kaisar's Legion. I'm going to give my guys some time first, though, to adjust themselves to their correct starting position in which we are just going to mm, I was going to say something else but we're just going to decimate them yeah I was going to say something maybe not YouTube approved but yeah let's not say that cool um go in here he doesn't have any close air support our ships honestly I'm not sure what naval battle does too much we haven't encountered too many enemy ships which is a little disappointing to be honest because I did put them so pretty good locations. If you guys can get up there, I doubt you can. But if you can, so be it. If you can't, whatever. Yeah, because that's as far as 
the rivers go, it looks like. Oh, wait, maybe they are up here. All right, well, I mean, I haven't really found too many enemy ships, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of wish there were more, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, Phoenix, you could probably use some airports. Probably some airports up here. Maybe some better infrastructure. North Phoenix, yeah, do something like that. Making more military factories. Making some more metal foundries and whatnot, so. Good, 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 good. All right, are, are our guys good to go? Yes, they are. If we push, we might not just win, actually. Yeah, in some places we will. Especially in the south, we'll definitely win. The rangers in the south, though, will be doing a great job. And we're going to go all the way down to, like, three roads or something like that. Give them time to prepare. As we push through the south, the benefits in the south might actually end up reaching the north eventually. Yeah, we might not. You never know. Ooh, return rollers, better tank reliability. Now we can actually get tanks at the end of the game. How wonderful. Go ahead and do that. Let them attack you. Uh, these enemies, they don't have a lot of manpower. They... Some of them have quite a few divisions, like the Phoenix Republic, but they don't have, like, any manpower, so... No worries. No worries. I mean, sure, we'll take a lot of casualties, but we're almost near the end of our campaign anyways. Doesn't really matter too much. Ground support is better. More tactical... Tactical strategic bombing. Tactical bomber strategic bombing. Should get better. Um... I really don't want to lower my defense levels... Um, eh, we can still do this, why not? Screw it. And I told my guys to be balanced. You don't have to be extremely hardcore when attacking, but we're still pretty good. Our divisions are only 19 combat width, because I didn't want to go to 22 or 21 for combat width, because that just wouldn't be very cool. <clears throat> awesome. You guys should be more than ready to go. Destroy Yuma. Ah, uh, Yuma. You know what, if anything, I don't know how much new Reno actually likes me, but because they did so well against us, I might be open to them um, having some, having acquired some different territories from me from this battle against Kaiser's Legion, because if we can, now I'm just thinking as if it was like a real game and we were going to integrate a lot of these different areas to become the next United States of some sort, that they knew Reno would be considered another state in the Republic. I think that'd be kind of cool. Ooh, yeah, go ahead and do that to, to small. Go ahead and finish off what you're trying to do. We're going to reorganize ourselves once again, and then push from there. All right, so Baja migration. The recent crisis in Baja has left thousands of men and women displaced or looking for a better life in the NCR. The acceptance of these men and women could vastly increase our population and eventual growth, but could also deeply har harm our economy due to inflation. The volume of people let into Diglo most most me regulated in some way must be most me hmm all are welcome a little bit less factory output oh three percent more monthly population five percent i want that fat ten percent give me some of that ten percent population baby hmm delicious and then super super mutant migration hmm rarely welcome so what do I do with Brutes then? You know, go ahead and reorganize yourselves. This Rangers in the south, I think should be doing pretty darn well, so no worries. Go ahead and plan your next attack. If you need some help, go ahead and push these guys out if you can. Oh, and the Tohono Nation has fallen. Great. Yeah, go ahead and prepare yourselves, because I want some of that planning bonus before we do anything else. Rangers, great job, great, great job. Uh, you know what? I would plan these guys, but they, these cowboys only have one division, so I'm not too worried about that. Oh, well, they have, I guess, a couple more than one, but whatever. Nice. Once the Phoenix, uh, Republic falls, then it's just up to the Hangdogs, which are pretty far away. But yeah, once the Phoenix people are gone, then it's pretty much GG for these guys. Alright, a lot of these guys are good to go already, so if you can and do well, and can do well go right ahead. If you can't, then don't go right ahead. Right now, I'm just doing some pretty mass strikes against everybody here, so. And for you guys, just go ahead and be pretty aggressive. I mean, honestly, just head straight for the capitals. I mean, that's really the point. Just capitulate the enemy. Let's see, these people are from Hangdogs. I mean, there's so many different small countries we got to kill off now. But they honestly don't have a lot of manpower. I mean, maybe the Summer Federations has a little bit. Hangdogs don't have that much. So that's good to know. 
We still have some extra manpower to spare, so. I also have coffee here. Not bad. Ah. Uh, very nice. Anything else for these guys? Oh, we could go to extensive conscription, but we don't really need that. Oh, did we actually win a naval battle? We did! We sunk the Phoenix heavy cruiser and a light cruiser. Ah, oh, Phoenix. Thank you. Thank you for contributions. <clears throat> Beautiful. Yeah, just get to Ultimo. That's really the goal here. Capitulate them, then just keep moving. How are our divisions being made? So we're going to have some more NCR troopers. Soon we're going to have a couple more rangers. Maybe some more NCR heavy troopers. That'd be nice. That'd be very, very nice. And air superiority right now. We're doing pretty well. We're doing quite a bit of damage. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Scrap fighters. Sure, throw them on board. We don't really need them here, but... I will still gladly accept them. <clears throat> for who they are. Oh, and this can only help us. Yeah, do that, and then... Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Very nice. Ooh, now for some water. It looks like... Oh, there goes Lone Tree again, and the Cowboy Country has fallen. Delicious. Awesome, awesome, awesome possum. Now, it looks like the front down here with the Rangers is just a little bit too big. So, actually, I'm going to throw in some regular boys in here for the Rangers. I'm going to tell you guys to... What am I going to tell you to do? Just come up this way. Finish these guys off. Strategic destruction, very nice. Interception detection, very nice. Yeah, you guys, come on down to here. I don't know if I can actually take two suns. It might be too difficult for us. I want you to come up this way. Get rid of that enemy division. That'd be nice. Go ahead and throw some more divisions down here. These rangers need them. Wow, we're really actually pushing pretty far into the Phoenix territory, which is great. But now we have super mutant migration. From all across Baja and the NCR, Deglo faces yet another wave of super mutants approaching the city. Brought here by promises of wealth, equality, and the occasional unstable area filled with radiation. So this is unfinished. We should conscript most of these stable mutants. Three squads of super mutant conscripts. They can work on those irradi irradiated power plants, which would be good. Heavy labor would suit men and women as large as them. More infrastructure construction speed, and then get even more infrastructure. Well, I mean, I don't... Do I need electricity? I really don't. Or fuel, I guess. Or electricity. Um, Let's go with infrastructure, because why not? That sounds like fun. Scavenger Union sounds pretty good to me. Throw you boys. Yeah, I'll throw you over here this time. Nice. Throw you guys a stop. Oh! And the Navajo Nation was taken out. Alright then. Alright. Alright, you guys. Increase your attacks. Alright. These guys down here still need more infantry. Regular infantry. Because they push really hard and... They honestly need a little bit more support down here. Willie Humphrey is injured. Can, yeah, I don't think you're going to be able... Oh, maybe you'll win, actually. That's nice. Additional storage. more Less supply use. More max speed, but a little bit less reliability. So be it. Infantry. Throw some more boys down there. Give me some more divisions, boys. Uh, very nice. Just throw them onto him, because why not? We suffered... Nine, oh, we suffered 19,000 casualties. That's a lot, actually. But the enemies have suffered about double. Maybe a little bit less than double. Yeah. Once the Phoenix people are gone, it's it's over. Pretty much. And equipment scavengers return. Very nice. Now we're missing more guns. God dang it. We're always missing more guns. You guys, come on down here. Um, we can probably cut out some of this now. Help reduce our need on guns. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You guys can probably stop training. You guys are pretty good. Rangers... Go ahead and reorient yourself. As the front has somewhat stalled in the north. Or I guess the century, technically the central part. Do that and do that. You might need some planes actually over here to help out. But yeah, these guys, they shouldn't be getting too much manpower at all. So the more we destroy the enemy... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, do that. Send you two over to here. Yeah, that'll be okay. That should be okay. It's paused. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. What if we did a more radical idea? 
do that, make your way over here, and then just go right ahead. I mean, yeah, it's probably a terrible idea, but I'm just here to destroy, like, any sort of resistance, no matter the cost, because, you know, we're almost done with this campaign. I know I've lost a lot of guys, and I'm still losing quite a few guys, but I'm somewhat ready to move on to a new campaign. Ooh, Cassandra Moore. Ooh, adaptable. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, she's got another slot. Dang, Cassandra. Dang, girl. Infantry expert sounds pretty good. Julian Stevens, adaptable. And Willie Humphreys, nothing. Boy, why are you even playing then? Anything, anything? Nope. That is fine with me. And turn you back down to careful now. Please do not get encircled. Just move on up. Oh, actually, you don't need to move up that way. You just stay there. And go ahead and stop for now. Reorganize ourselves maybe a little bit. And now time for me to probably manually control the divisions once they get to their appropriate place. Vehicles, yeah, I use some vehicles to do that. Sounds pretty good. <clears throat> hmm, yeah, we definitely need more guns. That'll definitely help out. Alright, very nice, very nice. Ooh, a scrap tank. I'm probably not even going to use those. Less reliability. Less speed. Hmm. Air stuff? I think we're pretty good on air. We're almost done with air doctrine. Don't really need to focus too much on the naval stuff. We're pretty much done with engineering. Industry? Uh, whatever. We'll do that. Why not? Yeah, we probably could use a little bit more air power. Just a little bit more scrap dive bombers or something. Or salvage dive bombers. Because these things are pretty good. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could we strike here? We have a lot of not great divisions around here. We might be able to, we might not be able to. I guess there's no nukes in this game. Or this mod, which is okay. You know, let's do some Protectrons, because I haven't done anything about Protectrons at all. Yeah, we're not winning over here, which isn't good. Oh, but maybe we are, but maybe we aren't. Nice. I do want to make sure that we have enough guns for a while, though. And support equipment. Oh, we are definitely out of support equipment. That is really not good. Put you up near the top. Do that. And then... Give me a bunch of military factories. That would be lovely. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. We definitely have ways we can exploit into here. Um, Do that. Give me one of you guys. Come over here. Give me one of you guys as well. Push. Ooh, Scavengers Union. Very nice. Push in this way. That'll help. And then... Rebuilding 13. Yeah, why not? Should be able to... I guess our next focus... I mean, down here in the south, it's pretty much impossible for us to move because of the amount of divisions the enemies have. So really, the north is the best place for us to attack through. So really, with a lot of extra... planes that we could have... We might just be able to strike through here. Give me half of you guys. It's time to manually control because the AI might just end up killing all my soldiers. Do that. Send all but one to attack this way. Send half or three of you over here as well. Lone Tree was annexed once again. Was that the third civil war, I think? Yeah, definitely over here we want to take those guys out. Just make sure that we have... Oh, radar. Oh yeah, radar definitely would help with this. Salt breakers. Come down here. There looks like there's almost no airports down there. Radar definitely could help out as well. I'll definitely push into here. Oh, yeah. Definitely do that. Um, not you two. You come here. Give me one of you. Give me another one of you to help attack. You're going to attack this way next. Send half of you guys this way north. That should be good enough, but I could be wrong. Oh wait, what is this? Request expeditionaries? Nah, I'm okay. Um, I definitely want to attack here though. So they're getting attacked from quite a few different sides. And we have, we should have quite a bit of air superiority. 
Sorry, wanted a little bit of coffee there. Let's see. 3.2 damage isn't a ton. I want more. I just want more, 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 more. I think fighters were okay on. I could probably take a few things off of fighters. Do that. Yeah. I definitely want more fight, more uh, die bombers. Do that, definitely. You guys, I'm okay for now, Grand Tribes. I'm okay for now. Oh, if we could take this province, would that get them out of the war? That would be awesome if we could. Nice. Very nice. I wish that these stupid divisions would stop doing this. I know I placed them here for a reason, but it's so annoying just seeing them waste their own time and equipment. It's not very conductive to the war effort. Nope, it didn't, didn't end them, but we might be getting closer. Two and a half thousand machine guns were out. Going to push this way. Send the infantry as well. You guys push from this side. Yep, just move in. Pushing that way. I suppose it would help if I did like an encirclement. So, all but one come up here. Then all but those guys do that. And then we, when we come up here, we'll, we should be okay when we do this. And then do this. Should be okay. I mean, individually, these divisions aren't super strong, but, you know, things can happen. Oh boy, we have another hole here. Hmm. Rangers, they're holding on down here. They're probably going to eventually try to push us out. They can exploit through here, which is not good. I need another army or something. Uh... You know, I really don't want to... Oh, we made it. The, we made the encirclement. Nice. Good job, guys. Without even any sort of motorized divisions. Great. Move on down. Move on up. Just go ahead and take them all out. And that actually destroys a good chunk of divisions of the enemies, which will be great. Great, 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 great. And we can go to war with Gl for Glenville from the Brotherhood of Steel. Interesting. Just get rid of them. Nice. That's actually extremely great. So go ahead. Redeploy yourselves. And they are trying to exploit themselves to come through do down here, but we should be good to go for another pretty amazing attack at this point. With all those divisions gone, I mean, this should be pretty good. Go ahead and come down here to join the Rangers, just in case. And my goal is to get rid of Hualapi. Hualapai. Hualapai. I've lost 5,000. I've lost nearly 30,000. Not good, but not bad. Get rid of Flagstaff. And they're definitely coming into here, but hopefully we can push fast and hard enough so that we can swing down here, which probably won't actually happen. God dang it, what's wrong with the long trees now? They always want to go to war. Uh, you know what, for right now, take you six divisions off. I need you down here. I know, I probably need more down here, but whatever. Um, throw down these two divisions... Uh, oh, wait, they're going to the coastal defense. That's right. Um, well, then just give me two of these guys. They'll make their way down here. They should be down here soon enough, so. No, I want you to take this tile. That'll be for the best one. Rebuilding the 13. Nice. Bastion by the sea. Very nice. They were trying to attack us down here. They still kind of are, I think. And they are somewhat winning a little bit. And there goes Flagstaff. Nice. Reduce all and any enemy divisions as fast as possible. That's really the goal here. Nice. And they are gone. Very good. Just reduce the number of divisions that the enemies have. Oh, I gotta love coffee. Oh, and you guys actually decided to come down here, huh? Like, I need you to come over here so fast that we can just surround them like this. Give them about three seconds before I go. Three, two, okay. I lied. Wasn't three seconds. Forward interception. Very nice. Very, very nice. Purification station two. Sure, why not? Low manpower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. And they capitulated. Glorious. Get some more equipment. That sounds kind of nice. And we're getting more and more factories as we speak. Love it. After doing that in Circumet, that really made us able to just push straight through here. Great stuff. 
Rangers are still holding on pretty darn well to over here, which is awesome. We've capitulated a few of the enemies, not all of them, but the Phoenix Republic is getting dangerously close to giving up, which is amazing. Oh, actually, it looks like the Blackfoot took away the new Canaan territories that I gave them once the war was over with Kaisar's Legion. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Hmm. Industrial machinery, more resource efficiency gain. Do I need more resources? I think we're pretty good, but whatever. Alright, yeah, a lot of the enemies are running out of equipment. Our guys are probably aren't doing super well as well, but... I would rather be me than my enemies right now. Two sons have still some manpower. <clears throat> interesting to see. Very interesting. Oh no, Joe O'Malley has been wounded. Oh no. And the Blackfoot themselves have capitulated. Great. Go ahead and put these guys out of their misery. They didn't want to be alive anyways. Cool. Yep, they did a great job. And we're just going to keep pushing. Just keep on doing... Doing the Lord's work. You will be part of our Republic, whether you like it or not. This is... Democracy is mandated for everyone. Whether you like it or not. You will become democratic through force. Oh yeah, another one. Oh, three over here. Cool. As long as the Tar Walkers and all of them don't go to war with me, I think we should be okay. Y'all, right, pretty good, pretty good. If you can exploit them and destroy them and teach them a lesson, go right ahead. Looks like Willie Humphreys actually can become an infantry expert. Good eight. Super great. Bastion by the sea. Arms workshops. Sea bears next for a super heavy destroyer. Love it. Oh boy, look at all these divisions that try to break through from where they were at before and utterly failed. Your death will mean nothing in history. Just remember that. It will mean nothing. You failed. Uh, yeah, well, I know we're not winning in most of these battles up here, but whatever. Yeah, we've suffered quite a few casualties. Whatever. We still need more anti-personnel weapons, but whatever. And, oh god, we need a lot of a support, some support equipment. Ooh, baby. The Phoenix people should be basically dead. Yeah, they're almost completely dead. Commercial Protectrons, very nice. Protectron Mach 2s, because... Why not? Looks like, they, wow, 21 divisions of Phoenix people? <gasps> the Republic has died. The enemy's Republic has fallen. Glorious. Can I do one massive front from the back? Oh, yeah. This will be nice. This will be super nice. And that means I need to make a few more thumbnails for this series, which sucks. But that's okay. Oh, actually, we can, might be able to actually push because the enemies have left because, you know, they capitulated. Love it. So we really need to focus on the hangdogs. And I think that's it. Because once the hangdogs are gone, I'm just going to take all this territory. Maybe give it to New Reno. Maybe some of the uh, Ruby Valley people. Maybe. But then... Once all these guys are gone, I'm going straight for the Brotherhood, and then that's pretty much it for the series. So that'll be great. Let our guys get down to where they need to be, and then we'll, we will continue to maneuver our ways into successful positions. Go ahead and increase conscription level. That'll be glorious for us. Glorious. Beautiful. Alright, good enough. The more we can capitulate, the less enemy divisions that there will be. And really, my goal is to get rid of the Western Apache and then the Red Sun Republic. That'll be great. Wear the enemy down as much as you possibly can, even though we are taking quite a few casualties. But the enemies cannot replace their casualties unlike us. This is like this American Civil War when Ulysses S. Grant kept chasing the Confederates. Most notably, Robert E. Lee and his generals and his military and his army. And to the point where the Confederates could no longer replace their men, but the Union could. Gotta love it. Um, More equipment? Sure, I love equipment. Yeah, I know we're not exactly winning in all these battles here. So go ahead and come down here. But really, capture try, try to capture the Red Sun. Yeah, get out of here. Go to the Red Sun City. Okay, you failed. You try now. The sea bear, very nice. More technology. 
And the new pitch. Shelby next. Alright, looks like we have pretty good information on our side here. Oh, we have begun to strike into Twin Mothers, the group that took a good chunk of territory from the Navajo Nation. Very nice, very nice. The Rangers, they themselves are doing okay. Increase the attacks. They're still unified over here, which sucks. Oh, I told you guys to get over here. Take out... If we could take Red Sun City, we might just be able to get rid of these guys. Come on. Teach them a lesson. Cut these guys up to, off up top. Yeah, push this way if you can. All right, we might not be able to do it. Um, can you get a twin mother like this from this way? That'd be cool. If you could. Overall, at least the Rangers look like they are actually pushing, which is great since not everyone is able to push right now on the other fronts. So. Hmm. And I will be able to, or I will end the episode fairly soon. Nice. Keep pushing those guys back. Once the southern front is dead, then everything else is going to die as well. We weren't able to get Red Sun City, but we are mopping up this area very nicely up here. Very, very nicely. For all of you all, you guys come over here and you four will come up here. Nice. Uh, you can take that. Cool. Oh, actually, we took Twin Mothers. Our divisions went so far, they took Twin Mothers, turned around, left. Uh, please go to Teos Ruins. We took, did take Red Sun City, but nothing happened. Western Apache has not given up yet, which is really disappointing. Please, just give up. Your men are dying. Your women are dying. Everyone is dying, except for... Well, I guess the elites. The elites aren't dying. But our guys, as many as they are dying, we've su suffered almost 50,000 casualties. But they've almost... Our enemies have almost suffered double, so that's not terrible. Go ahead and maybe calm down a little bit for the attacks. And two sons, thank God, has finally given up the attack. Uh, down here. Yeah, they were down here. Great. Go ahead and... Uh, we're pretty much united on the fronts now. That's cool. Do this. Just keep up the attacks. I want you to come down here. Because if you can take this spot, you'll cut off all these guys, which will be amazing. Up, oh, and they learned what I was going to do. Terrible. Just keep the attacks up. Keep the attacks up. Come on. I know, I know I'm wasting manpower, but I don't really care at this point. These enemies, they, they can't replace their manpower like me. Ah, oh, I love it. Let's see. Let's go for some ships. Super heavy paddle steamer. I love it. Yeah, these guys, you can try to hold on as much as you want. I mean, yeah, some of you guys have a little bit of manpower, but... It will sadly never be enough. Also, do we need more air support? We might need some more air support around here. Do that, and then do that down here. Yeah, we definitely could probably use some more air support around here. Uh, give it to the Rangers if we have any more room. Scrap fighters. Really, the dive bombers are most important. Give it to those guys, and then over here, scrap fighters... Oh, yeah, give me 400 of these bad boys. Stick them on a Joel O'Malley. Oh, baby. Scavenger equipment returns. Very nice. Put you guys up. And we get another 100 dive bombers. Just beautiful. No longer get the effects of all are welcome. And we have the new pitch. God, I know, I know, I, I, I need to end this, but it, this is a little bit too much fun at the moment. Western Apache has given up. Great. These men were left to starve and die. And once these guys are gone, what an episode. Come on. And, oh, look at all these divisions. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Oh, my goodness gracious. Great. So, that's where we're going to end it here for today. Yes, we suffered a lot of casualties, but ultimately, I believe that this is for the best. So, with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, tomorrow, we will definitely finish up the Rebellion here. And we might even go ahead and go to war with the Brotherhood. And that might be the last episode in the series. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we wrap up the campaign. See you until then.